Division PvP has always been a controversial topic among its players. It's cheesy, unfair and outrightly frustrating. I know how unfair it feels when you're up against a gang of 4 players shooting you after dropping a shock turret and then clapping over your body. As bad as it is, it is here to stay and I am going to teach you a few things that you can add in your PvP skill armory. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 tips of how to competitively engage in fair PvP fight, which I learned after dedicating more than 3000 hours in this game. One of the first things you need to do before jumping into PvP is turning your camera sensitivity to 100%. It is very important and it makes a huge difference. Initially, you might find it odd and you find your camera going all over the places. Just practice for a few days and you will have a grip on it. Most good players I know have their camera sensitivity set to more than 80%. Tweak and see what suits you. I personally run at 100% and find anything below it less responsive in a PvP engagement. Next I would like to talk about situational awareness. It is very very important to keep an eye on the little map on the left top corner. It lights up red showing you where your enemy is as they approach closer. The red mark expands and gets darker. See this, as you can see as a player approached me it turned red. Keeping an eye on the map not only tells you which direction they are coming from but also how far they are. Let's look at this example. You see I'm trying to get to the points multiplier and the player is behind me. The map turns red and what happens is I don't have much time to compose myself when the player starts shooting at me. So I'm trying to shoot at him. I actually missed shot my booster shot. Try to get it back and I got shot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a immune box here and I'm trying to shoot it. What happened in the meantime, there was another player who was coming behind me. You can spot him on the map as well. I tried to run out to get a reload, came back in and started shooting at him. It goes on to show you how important it is to keep an eye on the map to know what's going to happen next. Aiming is one of the most important skills you need to learn in Division PvP. Unlike PvE where enemies' movements are predictable, Division PvP requires a whole different level of skills. Player movements are not predictable as they can come from any side. They strafe, they jump, they run. So teach yourself some tight scoping. You can practice that on NPCs, try to hit their head or try to land as many body shots as you can. Next I would like to talk about strafe, move while shooting. It's a skill, you have to learn it. This is a hard one to learn especially on a controller. I cannot tell you how many times I have been downed by players who simply move zigzag while shooting me. It works every time. It's easy to distinguish between a good player and a bad player just by watching how they move during the combat. Be aware of them and try not to face tank them because they will take you down. Next I would like to talk about flanking. Occasionally you will see snipers hiding somewhere and shooting you from the distance. Sometimes you are running around doing your stuff and bang you're on the floor. As much as I appreciate build diversity in division, snipers are extremely annoying breaking the tempo of the game. Mostly their builds involve 9000 firearms. They are glass cannon but absolutely squishy. So flanking them is the best way to get rid of them. Next I would like to talk about nading. Use nades to apply initial damage. This trick works. You gotta make sure that before approaching an enemy you have one of these kind of nades equipped. Shock, Frag, Incendiary. The other two nade types only provide status effect distorting the players. They don't actually apply any considerable damage. Once you time them right you will find yourself in a better position to take your enemy down. Runaway and Reposition. Most often you will find yourself among NPCs and players shooting you from different sides and you will be confused as to what's happening. 
it's always a good idea to run away and don't be afraid to take over, to ascertain the situation before coming up with a strategy on how to engage. Before getting back into the battle, you need to make sure that your health bars are full and your guns are reloaded. Next I would like to talk about a unique talent that reduces incoming damage by 10% when you kill someone. It's called on the move and you can activate it in your abilities section. It's an important talent and works great during PvP. It activates under your gun and you can actually see a small icon during PvP. Once it's on you are prone to less damage, it serves an important function in those critical moments so try to activate that if you are going to do PvP. Next I would like to talk about fire bullets. Fire bullets are extremely useful and provide extra damage to your overall DPS. 9 out of 10 times it is possible to drop an enemy when fire bullets are active. They however come up with a small trade off and that is their cooldown. Their cooldowns are extremely high so you have to be very tactical when you want to use them. At last I would like to recommend everyone to use one of these abilities very carefully because they recharge after a long time. If you find yourself in a difficult situation and got caught off guard, use them to run away and reposition. Three of them offer three different abilities so use them as they match your PvP playstyle. I really hope you liked the video, if I have missed anything please mention in the comment section and I will put that in the next video. Once again I really appreciate the time and effort, if you like my video then please drop a like, it will certainly help me grow my channel, until then take care guys and I will see you next time.